wants to pull. It, it's not super laggy, but it has enough lag that you can't, you shouldn't be able to pull turnips in neutral that much. So if you can just kind of pressure him with his giant aerials and like pretty quick speed, so he can't like camp him out, that's how Bowser wins this. But of course, that means that the, the burden of approach is always on Bowser. Bowser not having a fast enough option that works on Peach there on his uh, shield. Oh, Miss Space is the fire breath. I'm surprised. That's a rare miss. He's taking a lot from his terms on the edge, but Nair up there is going to pretty much even out the game. One could argue at this point that Bowser is actually winning. Although two back airs with no jump. Oh, he no, he has a jump. My bad. Nice high recovery. I actually like that a lot. That makes it harder for him to just turn up Prince and repeat. I think now he has no jump though. What a, actually, it's such a good recovery. It doesn't look that complicated, but the angle that he's go, that he's go going at makes it hard to throw a turnip at and hard to aerial. Because if he, if he goes high, it's a free bear. If he goes down, it's a free turnip. That like 45 degree angle up is super hard to hit. He gets the nair, but he actually messes up the combo and he has to go for a nair grab. There on the way down, if you're floating and he goes for one of those, it's really hard to react in time to like hit the floor and hold shield. And now, you know, even though he's got a little bit of a present lead, fair, up throw, fair, and now it's pretty much even. Fair comboing in into grab, if you get one of those at like 10, such good like amounts of damage you get that you get off a giant aerial. See how much he gets off the edge trap. Again, edge trapping and edge guarding is going to be pretty much how Peach gets her kills and mo mo momentum in this matchup. Nice pair. That's going to put him in the lead. I'll smash. A little bit easy, I think. He wants it to go back to even. Oh, he upbees, he sidebees, so he'll hit the platform. I think he, like, react to the fact that he was going to go back to ledge to try to cancel the lag. That's why he did the bell smash. Side B off the edge, such a good option. Even if it hits your shield, there's no way to punish it. Nice side B. That was a really good reaction, but great DI is going to DI right to the corner. One more of those though, and he's, for sh he's absolutely dead. Yeah, you're oh, if he's a platform. Right, he didn't hit the platform this time, so he's not going to be dead. But now, again, one more wherever he wants him, he's, he's dead. One of a lot of things, and he's dead. Nice there. Again, it's that same kill he got the first time, where he's floating, waiting for him to land, and he just comes down with, with a dare. It's just too hard to react. It's that fair, but he's floating, so he can't get the grab. Nair, Nair? I thought Nair up there, but okay. Flame Breath going right through Turnip. Oh, wow. He yeah, F-tilt past him. Because Peach, when she floats, she's not a grounded opponent, you can run through her. So when she's floating, you can still run through her. Oh! Up throw on the turn up, not actually working. I thought maybe he was going to go for a, like, up throw up there. Yeah, he can't go back to ledge. He actually goes on with flame breath. Now it's actually super even right now. He up ease in place. That should be a dead Bowser, yeah. That would be maybe slightly... It's just too quick. He didn't commit to an option yet, so the up was like trying to catch a floating bear, something like that. But he just retreats and he gets a big punish on it, and that's going to be game one. Definitely not out of the realm of possibility, though. It's like really, really close game one. Although, when you think about it, Zach still got two of his kills on the landing dare when he was floating. I wonder if Plant's going to be a little more wary when he's trying to juggle Zaxel. The Flame Breath is interrupted by the turnip, and that's not going to be a important trade for a Bowser. So that Flame Breath, he knows not to run in on it, of course. He's not going to give you that free damage. You have to work a lot harder for it. Nair's side, he gets a ton of damage. Side. 
down B to try to maybe get a stock early. Ooh, that caught roll and it, it caught a couple things. I know why he did it. He even caught pulled out the corner. Nice dare, and I like the fair afterwards. He's going super far for an edge guard. Oh, yeah, I thought he. Yeah, okay. He probably thought he was going to get the ledge after he jumped, and, and then he missed it, so he had to up B, and that gave him enough time to recover. He throws the turn up, he rolls, but it still hits him because Bowser's rolls are super bad. Down throw, just trying to put him off stage. What's the ledge trap? One big aerial and he's done. Nice way. Is the superior range on Bowser makes it so that if they like trade max spaced aerials, Bowser wins. Back air? 173 is still not dying. That was a fat. Yeah, again, he like fared off the ledge. That was so that, that was that was pretty interesting. He fared off the ledge, and then he knew. Whoa, bad guy. He knew he couldn't go back to ledge because then that would be a free grab, and he could just get killed for it. So he flame breaths on blank. Actually prepared for that option, but then got caught on the platform and with the punish. He messed up the flame breath timing again. That's actually super surprising. Nice drag down up air into down tilt. I don't think the get up attack. He has not done that yet. It's also one of the biggest ones in the game, if not the biggest one in the game. Yeah, it's still her turn. When she throws a turn up and then does the dare, if you normally get up into hold shield, it's still her turn. Waggy? Oh, he doesn't get side B for it. A lot of people would like to hold shield there. That's why he went for that grab. Oh, yeah. Scared him with the F tilt. Had to go a little too low there. And now, Zaxxel can climb himself in the lead. That up B, I don't really get the point of that up B. I mean, it does hit him, right? But if you went for a dare, the dare wins, I'm pretty sure. And then, even if it trades, that's not good for you. Also, if you get the up B, it doesn't get you much damage. It's not going to kill that early. So, even though it hit, I don't actually love that up B. Ooh. He goes right under the flame breath with a, a dash attack. And it's not going to kill, but it's very close. 200% now. No kill throw yet. Back throw if he's turned around, but that's it. Back air still not taking it. 209. Gets the down beat. It's like 23 damage, something like that. Up air not killing. 215. When is he going to get this kill? Fares off the ledge. And now you got to be thinking, like, even if I take this, that's such a high percent. That's not going to take it. 226. Ridiculously high. He's avoiding killing super well, though. Up smash? Oh, greedy. He doesn't need the greed right now. I'm surprised. Down tilt in there. Grab down through back air. It's a lot of damage made up already. He keeps dropping shield on these uh, bears. I'm not sure if he's up E or if he's just dropping shield. And Blank has made this back completely. He has not gotten hit other than that nair since he came back. Zach's back on the ledge. I was scared of that turn up. That turn's going to kill him. Yeah. Good stuff to Blank. That was really good. He just didn't get scared even though he was at a high percent. He just...